If you are here from my previous like videos I posted, like, yeah, let's not talk about that. I'm keeping it on my channel because it kind of blew up, okay? So I thought I would start making videos related to what I'm truly passionate about, and that's more like food and fitness. So welcome. Hope you stick around. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know how often I'll be posting because I'm a very busy person. I work. I'll just see what I can do. So yeah, um, also follow me on my Instagram at nourishing underscore Emma. That's my food account. You're never knowing my personal, so don't ask. What you just saw just then was pretty much day one of my trip. And I didn't really talk about it at all. I just showed you like one second videos of where we went. So we left home at like 7.30 and it took me... It took me four hours to get to Adelaide. Then we went to a football club. If you are from Australia, you probably know the Port Adelaide Football Club. If you're not from Australia, you would have no idea. Oh. We had lunch and luckily they had a vegan option. And I would show you the video. I would have put the video in my little like montage thing, but I got a vertical video. So like that kind of sucks. I hate vertical videos, but I'll probably just insert like a picture after this, but whatever. It was like this quinoa pumpkin beetroot salad, really good. It had walnuts in it, really good touch. Seven out of ten. I'm a food critic. <laughs> um, then after that, <coughs> this never happens. Then after that, we um, we as me and my family, not just me, we went to Bunnings, iconic Australian thing. We went to Office Works. I picked up a new diary. I'll show you it. Hang on. <sighs> okay, so I picked up this diary. Yes, I know it's already 2019. It has a zipper on it. The inside is pretty cool. It doesn't just contain, I don't know if you can see it, but it doesn't just contain your, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It has like a little bit, a little section saying of how much water you have drunk today, the exercise, your gratitude, and to-do lists and goals. I'm like, that's so perfect for me because that's pretty much the whole reason why I wanted to get like a diary is to keep track of everything I want to achieve plus my work schedule and studies and assignments and all that crap. Then after that, then straight after that, we went to my favorite supermarket and I'll show you some bits and pieces of it later on in the vlog. It has to be the best supermarket or grocery store if you're American or whatever I've ever been to in my entire life. Like they have organic produce, there is so much vegan food. I'm in heaven. But I think the reason why it's so good to me is because back home I'm very limited in the amount of like fresh fruit and vegetables and like vegan products I have. So like coming to this, you know, supermarket, it's like pure heaven. And then after that we went to dinner and I got um, something really strange but oddly quite good. It was salt and pepper fried eggplant and I'm like, uh, okay. And it had like this olive tomato like salsa and tahini dressing and rocket. The presentation, my ladies and gentlemen, um, was phenomenal. And the taste, it was something I've never tasted in my entire life, but it was good. And like, I don't consume oil myself anymore. It tasted pretty good. Surprisingly, I don't feel sick today. I mean, I shut it all out, so it doesn't matter, but yeah. Today, I am headed to Run The Mall. If you don't know where Run The Mall is, it's a, you know, a shopping strip in the city of Adelaide. And we're just gonna do some shopping. I'm going to eat lunch at Juice Lovers Juicery and stay tuned for that. And yeah. <laughs>
so that kind of sucks we're just packing up right now my parents are downstairs having breakfast and the reason why i'm not having my breakfast downstairs is simply because they don't have the vegan option and i'm totally fine with that because i can't live without my oats so i've been having oats every morning um as you've been seeing we actually don't know what we're doing i'm planning to go do a food shop and it's quite warm like 34 today wow this this lining makes me look hella good let's just get packing shall we okay so excuse this absolute big ass pimple on my face but right now i'm just going to show you some items i picked up from the supermarket the other day so i picked up this banana caramel slice and it looks pretty good and the ingredients we have medjool dates and rice malt almonds, cashews, bananas, sunflower seeds, coconut carob, Himalayan salt and vanilla. Um, I don't know about you, but that looks pretty clean. So I'm excited to try that out. So this Naked Paleo Cacao Almond Bar. They had so many. It's organic, gluten-free, preservative-free, vegan and no added sugar. And the ingredients on this one. Organic dates, organic almonds, organic walnuts, organic desiccated coconut, organic cacao and organic coconut oil. <laughs> Thank you. 